what was your favorite part about today's adventures? Um, well, I liked it. The thing I liked about the cave was that I got to climb and then a hole and a, a little hole and I got to climb down rocks. Seeing the cool um, green blue water, I liked it because it was kind of cool, but I didn't really feel so like it when it was cold. And um, I liked climbing on the rocks and going into that little ditch like a little hole to go down into that water cave and um i like seeing the light under the water what was your favorite part about today go up uh, uh go boat. you like going on the boat yeah did you get to drive the boat yeah really yeah. i don't remember you driving the boat. I drive a boat that's a good story though <laughs> Did you see? Did you see any fish? No. Not really. <laughs> was the water warm? No. It wasn't. Uh, I wish. Um. Do you have any other? Okay. Thanks for the interview. <laughs> Good day. We're in beautiful Canada, Ontario, to be specific. the adventure begin before it started. Back at home, the day I was packing for this trip, Finn was running to go get his cup and he tripped and fell. And so I had to take a four hour break out of packing the day before we were going to leave to take Finn to the ER. It wasn't fun, um, but he did really, he was brave. He did really well. He's okay. Um, he Cut, had a cut beside his eye that, from my opinion, looked like it was going to possibly need stitches. So took him over to the ER and the doctor was actually nice enough to glue it for us because we were not going to be in the country to get the stitches removed about five days later. So that was nice. I appreciated them working with us. And he's okay. It's like it never happened, but that was, that was our first little adventure, I would say. Where are we going? We're going to Canada. Is it Canada. that bad? Yes! Say Canada, eh? Alright, we got our passports. We got our money. Oh my gosh. Do we have our kids? Uh, yes. One, two, three, and I guess. Is everybody oh, secure? Yes! Are you All sure, right. Pete? Who's excited? Me! Not so much as I with Piper. No, Pete. Good, are you excited? No. Okay, I'm excited. Oh. I'm excited. That makes I'm a couple of us. So, we were able to find this beautiful Airbnb which I am super thrilled about because basically for the same price as a hotel room, if not cheaper, <laughs> nice flower. we found this incredible house, or as they say in Canada, a house, um, and we're able to enjoy a, a beautiful kitchen and the kids all have their own rooms. It's just, it's beautiful. If you haven't had a chance to use Airbnb, I highly recommend it. The prices are great, the locations are beautiful, and this particular house was amazing. I cannot say enough about it. And the host was incredible to deal with, so. Clip. adventure we took yesterday was to um, the Bruce Peninsula and I, I believe is the Bruce Peninsula National Park yes. so it's a the peninsula that separates or well, it, it juts out into Lake Huron and um, and it, it separates on to the east is a section called Georgian Bay and there's a chain of islands that kind of separate that bay from the, the bulk of Lake Huron the Georgian Bay is known for its limestone concentrations, so it has crystal clear water, and when it's when the sun's shining through it, it you'd think it was somewhere tropical, almost like the Mediterranean. Yes, it, it looks like they call it the Caribbean of Canada, and it and it truly is. 
Uh, so a little backstory. I was searching for cool places to go and somehow this area popped up on my Google search and I literally saw a picture. I literally saw a picture and that's how I decided this is where we're going to go. So in my mind I had built it up to be something amazing and I was afraid that once I got there it wasn't going to live up to my expectations. It absolutely lived up to my expectations and blew them away. I cannot be happier about this place. It was one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. The only downside is the water is freezing cold. Oh, and that's, understatement. That is an understatement. Maybe we're spoiled because we're from the continental US and you know, to us, 70 degrees is cold. This water Freezing. Was we were numb. I got into my knees at one point and I, I couldn't, I, I almost couldn't do anything more than that because my muscles had frozen up. The best part was once you were in for a while, you just couldn't feel your body. So you got used to it. Um, I think in the heat of the day, later in the day, they said the water temperature was 16 degrees Celsius, which I think is equivalent to about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Go away. Don't mind him. <laughs> that that is cold. And so when we were swimming originally down in the grotto, which was one of the first places we went, the water was probably in the 50s, which would be, what, 12, 14 degrees Celsius? Oh. I wish we had paid attention in school a little bit more for kilometers, liters, You know <laughs> what, though? They lied to us because they said we were switching over and they lied because we never did. We have no idea how to make the conversion. Driving's been fun, too. Just because. Oh, and pumping gas. Pumping gas. We have no idea about We'll do another video on pumping gas. Again. <laughs> liters and gallons. We were those Americans. But <laughs> maybe we, maybe we'll we got brush up on uh, our equivalencies because it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, so thank you. Oh, those are pretty flowers. The first place we went was the grotto um, in the Bruce Peninsula. You had about, what would you say, it was a 20 or 30 minute hike? Probably 30 with kids. Probably close to 30, yeah, at the rate we were going. Once you got to the coast, it was amazing. Like we couldn't, we just wanted to stop at every spot and take pictures, but we kept going down to the place we had really gone for, which was the grotto. Um, it's a, you know, a cave where water comes in and there's a, a hole um, that goes out to the bay that allows light to come through, which it just looks amazing. So we went to this grotto and we were trying to figure out how to get down. And there were some people that were going down the, like a cliff face essentially, but mostly adults. And we had heard that it wasn't, really wasn't suitable for children, but I didn't think it was impossible. Well, somebody goes, oh, the, the entrance, the other entrance is this little hole. And I was like, what hole? And literally, there was a hole between two stones, big enough for one person at a time. I mean, if you were a big adult, you wouldn't have fit in there either. No, that was an understatement. <laughs> and they say that was the easy way in. That was the easy way in. So Jim goes down to this hole. I had to pass his backpack down and we were debating which kids to take down. We decided to keep Finn up top, and this was the coolest part. Sydney and Piper, especially Piper, because she's not super adventurous. Piper's afraid of butterflies. Yeah. She can't ha love her, but she just has a hard time handling things that most people would shrug off. So the fact that she she was willing, and uh, she did it, and she didn't cry, or she made noises the whole way down. Oh my God. She could track her progress from the, from the surface, but she, she did it <clears throat> with a little bit of help from me. I was able to get her and Sydney down into this into this grotto. They descended into the earth. They went down to the grotto uh, while I stayed up top with Finn, and they were able to swim around and get some videos. Yeah. Did you guys actually go in the water though? Yeah, no, we did go in the water. Again, because we hadn't touched the water yet, we didn't really know what to expect. But once once we touched it, we, uh, we knew that we weren't going to be there very long. I gave them dive goggles and let them look under the water so they could see that light that's coming through the passage between the bay and the grotto. And they thought that was just amazing. So when they were done, they came up and I, I got to have my turn. Um, so I played around down there and it was everything I thought it would be. The water is ridiculously cold. Like, can't feel my legs cold. But I'm gonna do this, because I said I would. So here goes nothing.
uh, after we did the grotto area, we walked over to, what was it called, Indian Head Cove? Yes, the Indian Head Cove sits at the end of the trail, the Georgian Bay Trail, and that's where the, you'll find the bulk of the, I say tourists, but the hikers, the people that come to enjoy the park. Because uh, kids can get there pretty easy. Right, they all kind of stop there and never adventure off to the left or to the right where some of the other attractions are. So it's a little more populated. So we we had some company while we were swimming over there, but very nice. Again, it's the same water and it's just, it's breathtaking. It's like nothing, it's nothing we've ever seen before, at least not in North America. chance we hadn't make, made reservations but we went down to the or up to the town of Tobermory and we were able to get on a boat to take us to Flower Pot Island which we kind of didn't really know what to expect we had seen some pictures um, but other than that we really didn't know what to expect uh, it's a it was a glass bottom boat on the way there we rode up top but on the way back we were able to go down the lower the lower part and See, like literally as you take the boat ride you can see what's underneath you which was really cool especially when it gets shallow you can see all the rock formations and stuff underground what's under, really under the water I mean I thought it was really cool that the um, that this light now granted the lakes are known for the, they've had lots of shipwrecks in the Great Lakes in general and anybody who's a fan of that kind of thing and of history knows that but the, what's really cool is that while we were taking this cruise out to Flower Pot Island we were able to go over two shipwrecks from the 1800s that were just really neat to see and they're only in probably 30 or 40 feet of water. It's like a little cove. Yeah, it's called like a little tub or big tub. Um, cove. And it was it was just so neat. So you can see that. You can see all the details in the ship still, even though they've been down under the water for so many years. Um, after, what did they say, after four o'clock when the boats are done going, they'll do yeah. scuba diving adventures and snorkels, or snorkel tours over the shipwrecks. So we weren't able to do that, but would that would love be, to. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to add that to our, our list of things we'll do next time we come, because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a next time. Yeah, we loved it great. here. This was awesome. Um, so yeah, that was really neat. And then they drop you off on Flower Pot Island for a few hours. You could stay the whole day if you really wanted to, um, but we didn't think the kids would last that long. So we stayed there for a few hours. impression that Canadians said A 
<laughs> like, we always say, oh, it's Canada, A. Eh? It's a lie. Let me it, I haven't heard one person say A. Eh. No, I, a little disappointing. Yeah, I'm, I was expecting it, I guess. We're very Americanized, if you couldn't tell. So, sorry Canadians, you we don't really say A. Eh. No, but hey, we love you, and we love your country. You guys are so nice. It's a great place. It's a super clean country. I mean, I haven't gone one place that I thought looked dirty. Um, even like some of their cities. Now, we, we haven't gone into Toronto, but I've heard that Toronto is very clean as well. Everybody here is just so polite and kind and nice. I can't say enough about the people. And uh, we just, we have nothing bad to say. Oh, we love you. We, we, we will hey. come back. We love you, eh? Canada, you get five stars. We <laughs> five. love it. We do love it. We have thought about retiring up here. We might. Yeah. We might. Yeah. Maybe we'll see you again. Maybe we'll, Maybe maybe we'll, we'll be, be neighbors. We'll be residents by then. We have to go find Finn, so. We will see you guys again soon.